Hey guys, welcome back again to my video. This is my new statue review of um, the, the old diorama done by Sideshow, and it's pretty much sold out anywhere on um, eBay or you know um, on the Sideshow itself. If you go on eBay um, on the statue, they would probably have to cost at, cost you at least eight hundred bucks. So it's pretty expensive and. Um, I got this statue for a good price today. I bought it from the local comic store, um, and the the price was only three hundred bucks. Three hundred dollars was the same price that actually Sideshow put up on their website, you know, back in the days. And I think um, Sideshow made this statue about four years ago or five years ago, and um, it's just freaking impressive and a very old diorama piece, and it gives so much um, intensity or even details on the you know on the statue and the statue itself has a complete you know 3d 360 look to it and you can see on any angle you would you know you can display the statue in any, any angle that's pretty much it that's what I want to say and as you can see I have to I don't know to be honest where to begin with um, on this review but you can see the Red Skull is battling um, Captain America pretty intensely there. Um, I like the um, the old look on the Cap on the Red Skull um, jacket and even the gloves and just pretty much so you know contrast look to it. And this is the regular, not the exclusive. The regular, um, the, I mean sorry, the exclusive comes with the um, alternate hand holding the Cosmic Cube which I don't really care about anyway so um, again this piece is only 300 bucks and <laughs> you know I had to buy it right away um, today so um, the other thing that I want to say is um, I got num low number uh, so that's another good thing for me my number is only um, it's 102 out of 600 um, and again so I'm pretty happy with, this, with the purchase so the story um, was actually today um, I went to the comic store and I saw this piece and um, and I asked about the uh, so I went to ask the guy um, the boss Rob about the what happened you know how come I never saw this piece and so he told me that um, this was actually been it was kept in the in his warehouse um, in New York and um, the story was actually this there was this one guy trying to buy this statue for a long time but he actually never make um, make any payment to it so. Um, Somehow, some, somewhat, I guess, um, Rob decided to um, put the statue um, on display today, and it happens to be that I was there. So I'm really lucky. I'm really very. I'm, I'm just like kind of lucky, I guess, lately um, with this um, statue purchases. You know, I've um, got so much good deals out there, and you know, I'm, I think I might go to Vegas and <laughs> you know start hitting some jackpots, and hopefully I get you know like a thousand or like one like five grand something like that um i want to say actually again the statue is so highly impressive in this angle too because as you can see there um there's there's human skulls pretty much on the on the base um pretty much you can see in here it's so scary kind of eerie given an eerie look to it but again it gives the impression that actually um you know captain america and and dress call is they're battling somewhere in the dungeon and the dungeon itself is made of human you know human um, skeletons kind of creepy it, it reminds me back in Europe um, well where they have this church uh, made of um, human skeletons and it's just kind of you know it gives you the creep out of shit um, again also with this Im mighty mighty impressive um, details um, look on the on the you know um, on the woods I guess it's like this in this is sculpted but again um, it gives the impression like with all this um, scratches and even the the lines in here you can see the eye of the of the um, uh, of the tree it's just damn impressive I mean it looks like a damn real wood to me um, and it even has the nails on it you know that you can see the nails um you know being pretty much um, punched through the um, the wood and goes to the stone Wow, wow, very wild piece. Um, again, um, even the weathering effect on the 
um, on the stone is just freaking impressive as well. You can see the different colors in here like black and kind of um, muddy um, and brown. It's all mixed there. And again, um, it comes with two torches and, and they're actually detachable. And there's so much details on the torches itself. As you can see that um, it, it's got this rusted um, effect on the torch and up, up in here and has like three um, human skulls um, kind of engravings I guess on this torch just freaking impressive wow wow um, I, I wish actually Saichi would have done some kind of light up um, resin in here as um, part of the um, kind of you know burning fire it would have been so much cooler um, but again it's just pure 10 out of 10 um, everything about this piece just nothing you know nothing can go wrong when you buy this piece um, it's an old statue again it's um, very this is what I like about old statue they, they statue did such a great job um, making pieces like this and and when you buy it you'd be like you know what you're buying for you know you know what you're actually spending on so again very very happy with this purchase um, what I zoom in in here and show you guys the the belt the pouches Excuse me, I just had a freaking dinner. Um, as you can see, there's a weathering effect on the um, on the pouches there. Very, very cool. And even the lines and the wrinkles and the, the belt line. Wow, wow. Just wow piece. Yeah, see that? Just mighty impressive. You can you can even see the um the lining. Um, you know, it's being pulled on um, by his action. It, you can see there's like a... It's like a scene, uh, it reminds me of the um, the Punisher um, comic head. That's how much you know, how much cool it is. It's very impressive. And again, um, on the Red Skull itself, himself. Oh shit, I'm trying to. Okay, see, I can show you guys, zoom in on him. Yeah, so again, you can see his face. Um, it looks so damn real. I mean, I mean, I like the um, the comic look effect on, on his face and the eyes and and the mouth and the and the um, the you know yellowing teeth um, on the skulls is freaking impressive and yeah wow guys just a wow piece and again I really I'm actually very lucky because the the wings um, show you sorry I'm actually very lucky that actually the the wings on the on the caps helmet is not even broken so. Um, you know, they're all in the perfect condition. Just, yeah, very, very lucky. So, yeah, man, like 300 bucks. Damn, that's like a... <laughs> that's a good price, I mean, for a diorama that's been sold out, and, and you know, everywhere. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this um, um, short review of my new collection. Again, um, I'll be having another statue coming up very very big that's all I can say big and the grill it's the grill of all grill statue so be prepared guys be, pre be, be prepared for the new upcoming review you guys gonna be like oh wow yeah so again I'm very happy with these purchases as always um, I'm trying to get um, I'm trying to narrow it down my collections and try to buy only the grill pieces and you know I just cannot keep up with the statues um, collecting world out there. There's so many things to buy um, right now on the sideshow, and I try to, um, you know, be selective, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, just that's pretty much it, guys. Um, just want to give you guys last um, 360 look to it again. And I want to give you guys a look on the Captain Shield. Um, I'm going to pull up the camera. So highly detailed. Very excellent indeed. You can see um, his thumbs and everything holding the shield. And you can see it there as well. You know, just wow, very well. 
All right, guys. The other thing that I want to show you guys today actually is the uh, the box. Um, so I'm just gonna move the camera. Okay. Oh fuck! I'm getting old, man. Shit. All right. So this is the box. Um, trying to zoom in, zoom out. Fuck. I don't even know what to do. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. It's it even has the um, the old. Shit. I'm trying to suspend here with my foot. Even has the um, the old um, biography in here of Captain America, Steve Rogers, and this is something that I really like, you know, about their production back in the days, and they give details and you know everything background on the on the story, and just mighty impressive. I actually want to play a song. Uh, when I do this review, but lately I've been getting um, warning from from what um, from YouTube that I pick out, you know, songs from you um, from any other companies without their um, permission. So I'm not gonna make any, you know, play any song with this um, review. As I guess, um, as again, you guys can see the um, the Red Skull um, biography in here. His name is Johan Smith. Yeah, you guys can, can read that one. You can always pause the video. Yeah, so the other last thing I want to show you guys is the um, the, um, the the box number. Again, I have number 102 out of 600. Very lucky indeed. And the other thing that I want to show you actually is the... Um, it reminds me of back in the days that Sideshow used to do um, their shipping with this um, grey styrofoam yeah so this is the um, the old Sideshow boxing and the boxes and it, you know right now they always have the white um, the white color but this is back in the days they used to have this um, gray um, box the styrofoam really cool so again alright guys so that's pretty much it um, again that's my new review on the statue um, Red Skull versus Captain America. Hope you guys enjoyed. And again, thank you, thank you again always for watching my video. And um, I hope you guys um, enjoy your week. Or um, and I'll see you guys again next time. Take care.